all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k hux nation and in today's video we're going to be going over the newest sync pair scout uh in pokemon masters now it's i know it's been a while since i last made a video for this game uh, and i apologize about that i know i've missed like what like two pokemon that have come out uh since my last video uh, i am making i'm still making videos for this uh, i i had like I've just had various things happen in my private life that just kind of made me either forget about uh, the game for a while or prevented me from actually making videos right away and such. So, sorry about that, but I am back to it, okay? As well as the fact that I have been kind of grinding the game a lot more lately as well. Like, I'm, I'm trying to chase more of the high-end content, especially the EX stages. Those are pretty difficult. So right now I'm in the process of trying to get all of my uh, most important five star Pokemon uh, up to level 100, which the amount of resources you need to upgrade to level 100 is just as is kind of nuts to be honest. Uh, but once I do that, I can actually start grinding some of the gears that I can collect so that way I can actually challenge the gex. So, anyways, enough about that ranting and such. Uh, in terms of actual the newest Pokemon in the game, that is going to be Glacia with. Or Galile, lightly. I don't know how to pronounce. It. This is what she looks like. Let's go ahead and take a look at her stats. Uh, max out those stats. This is at level 100. Now the special attack is going to be the most notable stat here uh, for Lily, because effect is at 210, uh, and she is a support role. Okay, with a weakness steel. She's an ice type. If you couldn't. <laughs> But she has a weakness of steel. Um, the special attack being at 210 is honestly kind of fairly low, which honestly makes sense. She is a support Pokemon. She's not meant to do heavy damage compared to other Pokemon like, let's say, uh, Rico or uh, you know, Livy or whatever his name is. Um, like, you know, actual might Pokemon, a dam the, the damage. Uh, so that's that's to be expected. But for a support of Pokemon, it's actually not too bad. It is worth noting, though, that Glyly does uh, Mega Evolve to Mega Glyly, where the special attack does rise up to 251, which is significantly better. Uh, just to kind of give you a bit of a reference point. And the speed goes up to 230. Well, that's kind of nuts. Uh, just to kind of give you guys a bit of a reference point, too, where the uh, Mega Glyly special attack is at 251 at level 100. That's worth noting at level 100. Let me go ahead and show you my current, some of my current five star Pokemon so you can get an idea of like where that range is in terms of like how good some of the best uh, DPS stats are in the game. So, what's a good way to look at So, I finally maxed, uh, finally evolved my Trico all the way up to Sceptile recently. He's still at level 85 look at my stat for my septile at level uh, just level 85 it's at 285 for septile so when you compare that to mega glalie who's at 251 that's after using the sync move to get it to mega glalie you can start getting an idea of how big of a difference it is. it's also worth noting as well for anybody interested out there that uh that septile is arguably the best or one of the best uh dps or damage pokemon sync pairs in the game uh, not only because of his high special or super high uh, attack and special attack stats but also because of his no turning back move which basically just maxes out all of your uh buffs immediately your special attack, and your attack you can literally go all the way up to 60 because immediately with just one use of this ability kind of nuts it's really gross um and that's not even at low 80 at level 100 which i'm willing to bet is the special tax that will probably be in the 300 at that point so that's to give you a little bit of comparison uh like i mentioned before he's not expected to do a lot of damage just because the fact he is a support role pokemon so that just makes sense so anyways other than that, let's go ahead and actually take a look at his actual move set, his hit. Because this is where the in terms of support Pokemon and the what's it called? The 
tech Pokemon, I guess you could call them. I think that's what they're called. And the tech, there's not a lot of tech Pokemon that you use, at least so far. Which is a shame, because honestly, um, there needs to be more tech Pokemon in order to help deal with some of these uh, higher difficulties. Because some of them are kind of fast. Uh, in terms of his moveset, though, at normal Glalie, okay, so not Mega, he has Powder Snow, which consumes one bar of the move gauge, has a power of 19, it's a special attack, accuracy 100, hits all opponents, and has a very small chance of leaving the target frozen. So for low damage, it hits all of opponents and has a chance to freeze them. So it's, it's not the greatest move, but like it's kind of decent, I guess, if you want to try and go for more of the, the frozen aspect of the ability. Next up for we have Ice Beam, costs two move gauges, special attack. Uh, it has a 55 power, accuracy of 100, only targets one person, has a very small chance of leaving the target frozen. Basically, it's just the higher damage output version of Powder Snow. In terms of the actual trainer abilities, we have X Regen All, so it affects all of your allies, makes all allied sync pairs gradually heal themselves. That's actually pretty good. Um, it is worth noting though, there are some other Pokemon who kind of already do this already uh, for your entire team to note too, except better because they do other useful uh, utility in addition to the heat. So this is actually, even though this sounds really good, it's actually kind of lackluster compared to some of the other five star Pokemon that have similar. Um, but it. I will note though that there are not a lot of Pokemon in the game in the first place that can heal at all. So even though it's not the best healing ability compared to some other Pokemon, it's better than nothing. I would I would much rather take this than than nothing at all, just because the fact there's just not a lot of healing in there. That's straight up a fact. Um only select handful of Pokemon have potion. I think it's only like one or two. I think it's like what two or something that are given at the beginning of the game. And then like uh, other five-star Pokemon such as, uh, what's it called? Hold on, I have them. I have like most of the Pokemon in the game just because of the fact that the, the pool, that, like there's just a very low amount of Pokemon in the pool, uh, in the pool uh, at the moment in the game. Like when you do those 10 pools in the shop, you can get a good chunk of Pokemon. Like a good chunk like, a, like that are in the game just from one pool. It's not too difficult to get most of the Pokemon at this stage of the game. Um, what's his name, though? Wonder oh, it's Stoutland. Stoutland, that's right. So, Stoutland has this move called Apply Yourself. Increases the move gauges of all allied sync pairs by 2. Makes all allied sync pairs gradually heal themselves. So this is what I'm talking about. And there are other 5-star Pokemon like Stoutland, for example, that basically do the same exact thing as uh, Glalie's uh, x and All, except better. Or like it literally is the same exact move, but that lin increases the move gauge, which is more preferable because now you're healing and you get more gauges. You can use more well, moves that properly. So highly recommend. Like that. Like that's what I'm talking about. Again, though, I would rather take healing over no healing, <laughs> just because there's almost there's very little healing in the game in the first. There's only like a handful of Pokemon that can. Yeah. Anyways, uh, going back to the rest of his abilities, there's one more left in terms of his normal moves. Tension here, uh, trainer ability affects all allies, makes opponents target the user for a short time, sharply raises the special attack of all allied sync pairs. This is an interesting ability just because of the fact that, yes, it does, you know, fulfill what you would expect of a support role. Okay, we're supposed to like, you know, help out your teammate and stuff. Um, almost thinking about it as like a like a support role in RPG games and stuff. So, my issue with this ability is the fact that because of the fact that Glalie is now taking all of the heat in the middle of the battle, he's literally aggroing all of the attention to himself. Um, most moves that are like this usually will buff up that same Pokemon's defense or special defense or both. To make him more tanky so you can actually you know to like actually tank all of the damage he's all of a sudden aggroing towards himself so the fact he can't he's not doing that is kind of a a minus in my book uh also worth noting too that his actual defense stats 
as well as a special defense that's are not that great okay especially this is the level 100 all right at level 100 he only has 144 defense for defense and 144 special defense that's honestly that's actually kind of low it's fairly low um there are many other pokemon that already have better stats than this uh or just relatively close stats to this at lower level um just taking it for example let's go ahead and take a look at I think my. Oh, do I have you maxed out? My Salamence, okay. My Salamence is at level, and he has a special defense of 131 and defense of 130. That's already almost. That's literally like 10 points away, from Blaley's stats. Like this is what I mean that his stats are actually really low for level 100 in terms of defense. On top of how he's aggering all to himself, basically what it ends up going to mean is that once you start, once you use that, move, especially in the higher difficult stages uh, of the game, well, as soon as you use that move, you're pretty much guaranteed you're gonna die. <laughs> That's basically what that means. It's his last resort move. Oh, I'm gonna sacrifice myself and buff all of you guys, uh, so hopefully you can take him down. And That's basically what his move. Is. It's a suicide move, and I don't know. I don't really find it that appealing. Uh, next up, though, Sync Pair Move. It's a special attack, has a 160 power, only affects one target, becomes Mega Glalie until the end of battle. So, in terms of Mega Glalie, like I mentioned before, the special attack and stats go up uh, to make it a little bit of a little bit more of a DPS. Um, and it's also worth noting too that the Ice Beam move changes into frost breath after you go mega and in which case frost breath a special attack move 45 power 90 accuracy target to one opponent costs two move gauges and except in certain circumstances successfully or successful hits with this attack become critical hit that's actually kind of interesting the fact that literally every single time it lands it becomes critical so even though it's 45 power, it will actually do a little bit more than what 45 power would not look like. Um, overall, though, what I would have to... Oh, is the power? Yeah, the sync move power goes up too. It goes up to 192, whereas before... At, oh, no, it's 192 the whole time. Never mind. <laughs> so overall, in terms of my thoughts about Glalie and Mega Glalie, is the fact that and how good he is, I would have to say that overall it's even though it's in the support i mean even though it's in the yeah it's support right even though it's in the support role it's trying to act too much like a like a damage or a support or a dps pokemon too much like a might okay and that's completely contradictory to what they're, like a, a support pokemon needs to be in order to be usable so that's my biggest gripe about this Pokemon. It is worth noting though, there's not a lot of uh, ice Pokemon. Actually, I don't even think there are any five-star ice Pokemon in the game. So that's probably one of the few things actually going for Glalie at the moment. In fact, there's not a lot of ice Pokemon. So this helps make up for it. But in terms of actual, like an overall outside perspective, he's just not very good because of simply not doing what he's supposed to do <laughs> for his role. That's my general thoughts about that. Um, if you're looking for like just pure DPS, there's already more multiple better DPS characters again. You would actually want an actual Pokemon that's in the DPS category rather than Lely. So, like I mentioned before, my uh, Sylvie or Sceptile, I mean, is a perfect example. Let me go ahead and just label, uh, sort this by attack. Just by attack. Oh wait, this is let's do a unlock level. Sort this by special. Just sorting this by special attack. Okay, Setal is one of the best DPS Pokemon in the game. Um, Pidgeot is actually really good as well. Has AOE move and does heavy damage too. Also has high special attack stat. Um, Renunculus. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is actually a pretty good Pokemon as well. Also really high special attack set and has a pretty pretty decent amount of uh, utility too. 
um, makes it a little bit tankier compared to some of the other uh, might Pokemon in the game. So these are some like of the best deep, uh, damage Pokemon you could have. So if you could have, if you could, like any of these three, that's like fantastic. There's quite a few other like four and three star Pokemon that are actually very viable too. Um, but I, I think I'll save that for a different video. I'm starting to look at trying to make like uh, videos come come out sometime soon talking about what is currently meta in the game, what some of the best Pokemon in each role and such. Uh, all that good stuff because I know there's quite a lot of you who are probably struggling with some of the content in the game, particularly possibly the story. A lot of you are struggling with the story. Honestly, I breezed the story just because of the fact that um, A, I was able to level up my Pokemon a lot. I have a good majority of the Pokemon already. I'm only missing like five Pokemon out of all the Pokemon so far. Um, only one of, two of them are being five star. I'm only missing one or two five stars at this point. So yeah, I'll make a video about this other time. But and so just to help wrap this up, okay, quick summary. Glalie, not nearly as good as I want her to be, want him to be. Okay, kind of contradictory to what its uh, role is supposed to be. It's trying to be too much of a might character when it's actually a support character. Uh, and in terms of whether or not I would pull on this, I would just say pretty much no. <laughs> I, pr I would honestly recommend waiting for a different stink pair to uh, pop up uh, instead for that matter. So at this point, I would just recommend just saving your gems for now, especially with how... Uh, Lately, it's been a lot easier to get gems too. That's been a big plus. Um, but yeah, just save your gems. Without further ado, go ahead and leave in, let me know what your thoughts and comments are in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.